we're going to work through some plots in Python. So come to the course website, come to apmonitor.com slash CHE 263. And the one that we're going to be working on is under the homework. And then if you go to homework nine, you're going to see, uh, you know, this is the printout of that. You can also grab the files right here, and that will give you an IPython notebook. If you just open that up, you'll see it's right here. You want to make sure you extract it, okay, extract the files, um, and uh, then you can start working with it from there, or you can move your IPython notebook somewhere else like the desktop. Okay, so I'm going to open up the uh, Jupyter notebook. Okay, so I just searched for Jupyter. It's going to come up with this black uh, command prompt screen. You can just go ahead and minimize that. Don't close it, but you just need to minimize it. And uh, and then um, if you need to, you can navigate. Um, you, know, you can navigate to the right place. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and select that. It'll open it up. This is going to be a template that we're going to use uh, to do our uh, problems right here. Okay, but we're going to start with problem one. We want to create a plot of e to the negative x times sine 4x and e to the negative x cosine of 4x from 0 to 5. And we want to change the line color uh, to for the first one to red and the second one to blue. Adjust the line width to 2, add a legend, la x label, y label, and plot title. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. The first thing that we need to do is import a couple different packages. And these are just going to be standard imports. Uh, you can almost copy this section from, uh, you know, from this. It's kind of a boilerplate for other problems as well. So we're going to import NumPy as NP. That'll help us do arrays and the data processing. Uh, the next one that we want to import is import uh, matplotlib. Okay, so it's a uh, dot pyplot. Okay, so it's a specific uh, matplotlib dot pyplot, and we'll import that as plt. Okay, so we just shorten the name, so we don't want to use matplotlib dot pyplot every time we want to use this. We can just use plt, and then we'll also do an import uh, random. We're going to use that later, and then uh, for the uh, notebooks. Now this is not required if you're going to use Spider or um, you know, just the program that you get from python.org. Uh, it's just only in this web page environment. You need to do matplotlib inline and it'll show you the plots um, here in in the web page. Okay, so then I'm going to, uh, let me go ahead and insert a cell below. Okay, so I'll go ahead and run this. Okay, so that has run and um, now I have all of those imported. So now I can use things like NP zeros, uh, you know, let me make a, an array of two, okay? So things like that, I can start using NP or PLT packages. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is create an array X. Okay, so I'm trying to plot, uh, trying to plot these, but I need to go from zero to five. And I'm gonna, do the lin space from zero to five and create a hundred uh, points. Okay, so let me go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm just going to control enter there to get rid of that. Okay, and then if I print x, I can see that I have a hundred points between zero and five. They're all equally spaced or linearly spaced. Now, if I again, if I need to do any kind of help on this, I can do it np lin space, okay, and that's going to print out a help, okay, so it gives me the um, right here, this this uh, lin space, start, stop, and then the number of points that I want, so it gives me a little bit of help on lin space, you can do that with any function, uh, typically, and it'll give you uh, the help, okay, so uh, let me come down to the uh, print here, I'm going to delete that, I know that's already been created. And now I want to come up with Y and with Z. So I just want to store these E to the minus negative X sine 4X. I want to store that in the variable Y. Okay, so I'm going to do NumPy sine 4 times X. Okay, 
uh, times numpy exp minus x. All right, so, so that is going to give me uh, some y values. Okay, so there they are. Those are the values that we're going to want to plot. And then if you just go ahead and copy this, let's make a z as well. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me open up the bookmarks there. Okay, so now I'm going to do z, and then I'm just going to change this one to cosine instead. Okay, so now I have my data x, y, and z. But you know, looking at these numbers doesn't really tell me you know, it doesn't really show me the, the data very well. So now I want to use this PLT package. Okay, so sometimes what you do is you first of all just create a figure, um, or you can just start, uh, you know, using, if you have multiple figures, you can say figure one, and then if you want to create another figure, you can do figure two, figure three, or if you just do uh, this blank right here, I'll just create a new figure uh, for you, and then you can start uh, using it. Okay, so then I'm going to plot. Okay, so I'm going to do plt dot plot, and if I just do x comma y, okay, that'll be give me just a basic uh, plot here. Okay, so I can see I had my x and my y values, and then if I add plt plot x comma z, I'm just going to put z on there as well. Okay, so I have the two. I have plotted those two. You can see the kind of an exponential decay here. I multiply by e to the minus x times sine. Okay, so if I only had, let's say I only had this, okay, then, okay, so this kind of makes sense because if I, if I only had that, Okay, you'd see it kind of goes down like this. I'm multiplying the sine or the cosine by the e to the minus x function. Okay, and then it gives me something that decays down and decreases the oscillation. So that, that kind of looks right. But let's add a couple things just to kind of make this plot look a little bit better. We want to uh, maybe change some things about this. Uh, let's make one of them, you know, a red uh, uh, dashed line, for example. Okay, so there's a red dashed line. Um, let me do something that's like maybe add um, a legend. Okay, and I can either add it here where this might be, you know, y comma z. Okay, and then I put that uh, there, or I, I just create the legend and then I label each of these. So this might be label, um, you know, and then equals, and I'll say this is my z, or I could say e uh, to the negative x times sine of 4x. Okay, and then I'm going to put uh, label, um, okay, let me do I think I've got those mixed around. I think this is, might be cosine. Okay, cosine and then sine. And then, oh, I made a mistake there. Let's see, label is not defined. Hmm, okay. Um, oh, you know what, I need to do equals. There it is, so not a, per, not the, parenthesis, uh, just the equals, and then in quotes. So it's going to be a string. Label equals a string. Okay, and then let me just check and see if this works. If I put it in dollar signs, it might do something really nice, which is put it in LaTeX form, okay, which is uh, makes it look more like a math equation. Okay, I'll get rid of that E. There it is. So, so it looks just a little bit better even if I put it in dollar signs and then it's going to format it into something that might look like it it is in a textbook okay so there i go okay so e to the minus x sine of 4x all right and then uh, let's add some things like a, an x label and a y label all right so x label might be uh, something like x and then Y label, we have to say that's value. 
Okay, so put this X right down here, and put value right here. We have our legend. This is starting to look a little bit better, but let's uh, let's adjust the uh, width of the line. Okay, so let's do line width. I'll make this one just a little bit uh, wider. Okay, let's say I want this one just a little bit wider as well. Okay, so there's a couple different properties that we can adjust. Um, you know, these are some of the most common ones. If we want to save this as well, um, we can do PLT save fig, and then I can call it something like uh, my figure.png. And if I run it, okay, it's going to save that figure right here. Okay, so there it is. There's my figure. It saved it as a PNG file. I can put it in something like Microsoft, uh, you know, let's do PowerPoint. Okay, there it is. So if I create a blank presentation, I can then throw that figure into the presentation and then, so that looks nice. You know, it's, it has a nice, uh, kind of looks like a, well, it's a PNG um, figure right there that we saved. Okay, so I'm gonna throw that in the trash, come back to my IPython notebook. Okay, so just to review, we created our data. Uh, created this new figure, we plotted these two, we changed some of the properties there, you know, gave it a label, line width, uh, changed the color of it, uh, you know, changed the style of the line as well, so there's a number of different uh, options there, X label, Y label, legend, uh, you could also do a title, uh, plt.title, um, my plot, Okay, and uh, see, so there's a couple different things you can do with these uh, these scatter plots. Okay, so the next video that I'll show is going to be on problem two. We're going to do some subplots. Uh, problem three, we're going to go through, and we're going to just change some of the, you know, these X, Y, and Z data. And then we'll change some of the marker sizes and other things. And then problem four, we'll do some bar charts and pie charts as well.